Well, good morning and welcome to Thought for the Day. Uh, as I start, I, I do want first to send, say a big thank you to all of you who've sent a message of sympathy and offers of help to Helen and myself as we've battled with uh, COVID and isolation over the last uh, last few days. Uh, we felt very looked after. We thank thanks to the very grateful to those of us those of you who picked up a little bits of shopping for us. Um, those who someone who cooked a meal for us would we, we feel looked after beyond beyond anything we deserve, and we're we're immensely grateful for that for that. And yesterday I was starting to really feel a bit better. I got on the day eight, I think it was day nine, or even day nine yesterday. Uh, and although Helen wasn't very well, and I need, needed to look after her, I was just a little bit better and had had the strength to, to get meals and to and so on and by the end of the day I was still not not wiped out and thinking oh, it's going to be tomorrow I'm going to get up I, I get washed and dressed and, and record a thought for the day and be able to tell people if just give testimony to God's faithfulness through that time how he, he got it got us through how he's how he did it had actually been quite a quite a blessing really just to, to pause uh, to spend time simply sitting, sitting and reading mainly, a little bit of talking to each other. Not nothing else. Not not up to doing anything else, but simply to take a pause. And I just felt that God had given us that rest, and and that was a real blessing. And as I say, I was hoping to also give testimony to to God's uh, faithfulness through that time and how He'd seen us out the other side. However, in, in the night, I woke up and I realised I wasn't better. Uh, took a blood oxygen, it was it dropped off a bit. Again, nothing dangerous, please don't, don't worry about this. But I realised that Friday wasn't going to be the, the new dawn, but rather another another one of the same, another, another day of just being aware of, of struggling with something that was more powerful than myself. And I realised that the thought for the day, rather rather than the being being just looking back on it, was going to have to take place from from the middle of this this time of weakness, a time of working with a, a power in me that is that is greater than me, that I can't overcome by my own strength. God's grace, I trust, I will overcome it. There's no sign of anything other than that at this stage. But that's not where I am at the moment. I'm currently week currently aware of that that power in me and maybe this is the point which God needs me to be at for today's thought for the day to talk not about the power of having overcome but the power of God's strength being made perfect in weakness because the sense I had in the night was as I say, this this power that was greater than me, and the awareness I had was that actually that's our situation all the time. We we live with a a power at work in us uh, that is greater than us. Uh, One John four says that. He that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. We have living in us the, the Spirit of God who has the power to, who is greater, greater than our power. But we also have in us the power of, the power of sin that is, is greater than our power. And at one level we are powerless. But in that powerlessness, God's strength is revealed. And in the night, I felt I'm just aware of God's strength in a new way, in my weakness, in my inability to drive this thing away, in this thing that won't won't go, even though I, I'd hoped it would. I'm aware of God's strength in a new way. I can trust him. I can, I can pray to him. It leads me to pray to him in a new way and to discover his grace and his faith. And, and, and the power, the, his, discover his grace, discover his power, discover the, the power of our faith in him. Not in all the prayers having been answered, 
but in prayers that I know one day will be answered. And it's from that position of, of weakness and yet awareness of God's strength that I'd like to greet you this, this Friday morning. I hope you have a, a good day. hope that whether you are in a time of weakness and needing to discover God's strength or in a time that God's poured out blessing on you, that you might know his, his presence with you this Friday. God bless.